my question that I'm posing to myself, and that I'm thinking you're probably posing to me is, Jen, is this stuff really, really worth it? Hello my friends, welcome to my review of the Frog Prince Collection by Lipstick Queen. Okay, so this is the story about why I wanted to get these, and you may remember this. Back in, I want to say the late 80s-ish, if you were alive then, <laughs> they had color-changing lipsticks in some of the drugstores by me. I want to say it was the late 80s. And I remember being like, Mom, Mom, this is so cool. Like, I remember they had them at the beach when we went to the beach over the summer. My mom was like, girl, you don't, you do not need, she didn't say girl, but she was like, you don't, Jenny, you don't need color-changing lipstick. And I was like, but Mom, it's so cool. She's like, no, we didn't have a lot of money back then, so I didn't, my mom didn't buy me, like, little goofy things like that. So so when I saw color changing lipstick for the first time actually at, I think it, I'm pretty sure it was the Born Pretty store where I get a bunch of my nail stuff from, I actually bought a couple of lipsticks from them. It Cosmetics has one that is color changing. There was a brand on Holt Look that had a ton of it for really cheap. I bought like a big kit of it and I cannot find any of it anywhere. It's one of those things where like I didn't like the formula. The formula wasn't very hydrating and it stained really weird and stuff. But but I did, I have tried other products like this before. So I do have a basis of comparison. So my question that I'm posing to myself and I'm thinking you're probably posing to me is, Jen, is this stuff really, really worth it because I will tell you that between these three products, it's about $75. The blush is $24, the lip gloss is $25, and the lipstick is $25. <sighs> That's pretty steep, so it's got to be pretty awesome to make it worth it. So let's just go into, let's just show you the swatches, and then I'll give you the review. So here come the swatches. So looking at the swatches, you can see the tone of how everything looks. Of course, I'm wearing the blush, and I actually have just the lip gloss on my lips at this point. Let's talk a little bit about wear time. The blush, I would say, is my favorite product of the three. If there's anything I feel like is a recommend to you, it would be the blush, just because for me, it is a beautiful color. And as you could see in the little application demo thing that I just showed you, it can go on very, very, very bright if you want it to, but it's all also, it also will blend out very nicely. And the lasting power on this is really good, really, really good. It lasted me all day long. I remember periscoping the first time I used this in the afternoon, well actually I guess it was the evening at that point. It was probably about almost seven o'clock probably at that point. And my blush was still very much on and everybody was like, whoa, look at your blush, it's still there. I'm like, yes, I know, it's that Frog Prince blush, can you believe it? So for me, yes, it's gimmicky um, and it's actually changing colors in the pan here. And when I applied with the stippling brush, it actually changed colors on the brush, not 
not on my cheek. I don't think this is going to change for skin tone. I think it more changes for the heat. But even that doesn't really make sense because the brush I wouldn't think would be hot. I pulled it right out of my brush little thingy and it still changed color on the brush. So I don't really know why it changes color, but it's actually already changing a little bit of color. Like the top layer of it is actually already pink where it's been swirled. So Oh, but anyway, my point is in the end, it's a good product is what it comes down to. So of anything, if you're looking to try a cream blush, I would definitely recommend this. The next one that I think is pretty good is the lipstick. The lipstick is very hydrating, which is the difference between this and some of the other products that I've used that are these color changing ones, like the cheaper ones that you get from like Born Pretty Store or that company on Holt Look. I'll put it down below if I can figure out what the world that company was, uh, but they were just not good. Now the It Cosmetics one is also very hydrating and it doesn't have the creepy green color. So, you know, maybe you might want to get this one. The It Cosmetics one is a little bit lighter in tone. This one's a little more berry tone. This one's a little more pink tone. So if you like the berry, go for the lipstick queen. If you like the pink tone, go for the it cosmetics. But Overall, I really do like this lipstick. Is it worth $25 to me? Absolutely not. I would say this is worth, worth a good $12 lipstick, but there's no good staining power. There's no like longevity of it. Nothing that makes it like a standout product. Is it a beautiful, beautiful color? Absolutely, it's a beautiful color. Is it a nice product? Absolutely, but I think the price point is a little too high. I, I would pay $12 to $15 for this, not $25. Now, my least favorite product that I got was the lip gloss. This is going back to the store. I'm not sure if the lipstick is or not. I'm definitely keeping the blush. The lipstick may be going back. I haven't decided. But the lip gloss. The lip gloss has little tiny specks of green glitter in it. If it didn't have the specks of green glitter in it, I'd be cool with it. But the problem is, is over time when you wear it through the day, the color fades, but the glitter stays. So you end up with your natural color lips with little green speckles on your lips. And that's just not attractive in my mind. I do not like the, that look on me. I don't like the way it looks. I don't I don't like the green speckles, random green speckle, speckles on my lips. And they'll fall down onto my chin, you know, if I like, let's say I eat and I use a napkin, little green speckles on my chin. No just, on the lip gloss because of the glitter. If it didn't have the glitter, I would say yes. Um, but lasting power is typical and it's expensive. It's expensive and the answer is no. So that is my review of the Frog Prince products. I hope that you found that helpful. If you did, definitely click the subscribe button. It is right over there and that way you're notified when I make new videos. I have lots of new reviews coming out soon. I have a uh, four looks one palette coming out with Kristen Game next week. Uh, this is the first look in the four looks one palette with my friend Kristen uh, and the it's the Girls on Film palette by Makeup Revolution. We're gonna be doing four looks, each of us, with this palette, um, and this is the first one. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see that, and I wanna thank you guys so, so, so much for watching, and mad love to you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hello, my friends. Welcome to my review of the Lipstick Queen Frog Prints Collection. Now, this is the thing. Oh, of course, it just Hello my friends, welcome to my review of the Lipstick Queen Frog Prince Collection. All right, so, oh my gosh, seriously dog? Really? This is not gonna work. You, you being here is not gonna work because you're gonna make noise and you're gonna be loud and you're gonna be all jingly jangly. What, really? You want some lipstick? You want some lipstick? Now you got lipstick. <laughs> Dog.